left-hand batsman. He'll uh, enjoy this opportunity coming in as a night watchman. He batted uh, quite well in the first inning, so he's had a bit of time out in the middle, and what's more, it was today. So he's now used to the, the pace and bounce of this pitch. And, and the good thing about uh, sending him in as a night watchman, if he's still there tomorrow, he's got a few shots, and he can keep the score moving along. And he can get some singles to give Savag the strike. The last thing you want, all right, it's terrific to have a guy come in there tonight and, and survive, but you don't want him clogging up the game the next morning and getting in the way of the batsman down the other end. So not a bad choice as night watchman. No way that can be out. Pitching outside leg. You know, suddenly the Australian sense that uh, here is a chance uh, to get a wicket or two and uh, put pressure on the Indians now. Rest the initiative back. That's over. India on 52 for one. And it is seven o'clock, so that stumps. Ooh. Nasty delivery. It's not exactly that. Now there are words exchanged. You saw yesterday Pathan uh, hitting Lee and having a giggle and uh, saying a few words. Pass bowlers don't forget. It's Lee's turn now. And he does the same thing. Hits Pathan and walks up. Good morning. It's day three. My turn now. But hard. Huh? I mean, that's fair. Gotta get me out. Oh. Mm, another one. Some heat out in the middle. That's good to watch. Some positive thing going on. Rufan is getting his own medicine. Looking good. I think the ball is not showing, so he decided he's gonna, just going to bomb him. Now this is what happened yesterday and have a look at Pathan after he hits uh, Lee on the arm guard. Goes straight up, a few words. And the difference today is Pathan has the bat in his hand and Lee has the ball. Good shot. Struck on the up, on the, down the ground. And uh, boundary there for Irfan Pathan a quality shot good thing to see was he was not stuck on the back foot he was prepared to go forward if the ball was pitched up that was a top shot by him being a tail ender and look at the front foot there played on the up as well what happens uh, generally to batsman uh, uh, comes at number eight or number nine tends to come on a back foot first especially against the likes of Lee against the pace bowler but this time Played two bounces and the third ball he was on the front foot and played the straight back towards mid on. Beautifully played shot. And again, uh, nicely behind it. This is good cricket. Khan sending a statement, a message to the bowler that yes, you can uh, roll a few shots. That is as fine a shot as any you will see. Just a lovely sound of bat on ball. And this outfield was always going to be too quick. He never made ground. 90 for 3 and Irfan Patan goes past a thousand runs in test cricket. Well played young man. He's looked good, hasn't he? Irfan Patan. Yeah. There's a lot to like about his cricket. He's a, he's a very determined young cricketer and, and the thing about as a captain sending him in as night watchman, you know that he, he wants to bat up the order. He's the sort of guy who's always volunteering. I want to open captain. I want to bat number 3. I want to do the night watchman's job. So as a captain, you've got confidence in sending a man like that out there to do the job. And the other thing about him is he's got some shots, so he doesn't clog things up the next morning. That's worked away on the onside. He looked for two. And get it comfortably. What I like is that he's got, a, he's got an organized technique. He's got good defense. He's gutsy. He's uh, prepared to uh, get behind the line. 
And he's doing a good job here for the uh, Indians. I think the more he develops, if he can keep his bowling going, I firmly believe India don't need a number six in India. He can bat at six and be the all-rounder. Tony at seven. That's four. Sliced away through the offside. There's one other crucial aspect of his batting that makes him a good night watchman, uh, Ravi, and that's his running between wickets. Sometimes that can be a nightmare. You send a, a bowler out there to do the job the next day, and he's with a batsman. The batsman knows what he's doing with the running between wickets, but the bowler hasn't got a clue. And it can be a real mix-up to the point where the batsman gets run out, and then it's a disaster. But he knows exactly what he's doing with his running between wickets. gone past a, a thousand runs in test match cricket he's close to getting a hundred wickets so he's uh, very close to getting the double just went off the boil for a year year and a half but he's gone back to domestic cricket worked hard he's played well left a lot of deliveries alone but he's played some good shots down the ground quite prepared to get on to the front foot that's uh, into the boundary as well. We'll have to wait for the umpire signal. Leg by signal, but these are useful runs. Yeah, that lead stretching out now. 228 for Australia. You can see Ponting looking around there. He's he's going to be very concerned about runs, and that's the other thing about these runs coming quickly for India. It means that Ponting's got to start thinking about saving some of those runs which means that he weakens the uh, the attacking part of his field placings oh sweetly timed third boundary of the over and the best of the lot 14 runs coming off that last over and India get a move on 114 for three Edged in the gap and into the boundary. Ponting kicks the turf. Should I should I have had another man there? Good pace and bounce there from Mitchell Johnson. You can see that ball rose quite sharply. Didn't carry to Hussey, who's already grasped one this morning. This is a, a really good contest. Both sides realising that the win is on and it's up there for grabs. Whichever team can hold their nerve in this situation can go on to win. That's a cracking shot. He stood up tall and put it away backward a point. Consecutive boundaries and uh, Patan continues to impress. He's moved on to 35. Well, he's a smart young cricketer, Irfan Patan. You can bet that he's worked out uh, there's an opportunity in Adelaide. India are going to want to play five bowlers in, in uh, Adelaide. It's that sort of pitch where you need the three quickies and the two spinners. He's realised there's an opportunity. If he can make his name as an all-rounder... If he can show the selection panel that he's got the capabilities to be an all-rounder, and he's showing here that he's got the capability to bat at number six most definitely, then he, he virtually makes it impossible for the selectors to leave him out of the Adelaide Test match. He's a certainty now. He's looked so organised. You hardly would say he's a night watchman if uh, someone pitched to the ground, pitched up at the ground today, seeing him bat the first time. They will think he's a regular batsman. You can tell that Ricky Ponting is starting to get concerned about that lead. Runs are on his mind at the moment, and it's the saving of those runs that's very important for India. There is a left-hander out there, the former Patan. 
just to break things up. Two sounds. It's make it worse today with Laxman. You've got the night watchman coming in, so he's down at seven instead of six, which is, is too low, really. But I think that'll be rectified in the next test because I think he'll be back to three. Or just going down the leg side. He'll be back to three because I think uh, they're going to have to leave Jaffa out and Dravid will go back to opening and Laxman will be up to three with Patan probably batting at six. That's a good shot. Lufan Batan, he's into the 40s and showing why he was used as a night watchman. And that's pretty good too, Andrew Simons. He's got this way of diving forward, full length. Can do that now because the, the grounds are roped in, but when it was uh, the boundary had to hit the fence and you can see the, the guttering in the background, I don't know that he would, di would have dived like that, but that's brilliant. He's one of the best fielders in world cricket. And he's playing some good cricket in the series. So that was a good ball. And of the over 158 for 5. And I think uh, it should be lunch. The pre is not as strong as uh, say on the first day. Hardly any breeze yesterday but uh, it's picking up now. Yeah and it's been it's turned around it's coming from the west now so it's coming from over the sea as opposed to from central australia in the opposite direction the last two mornings and that's an outside edge and as it has carried to ricky ponning safe hands it's a, a good move from ricky ponning to turn stuart clark around to the other end he's got wind assistance and uh, he's certainly got that accuracy well he's been uh, the pick of the bowlers today uh just nagging away at uh, that off stump whether it's a right hander or a left hander and just tapping at the ball this time uh, Irfan Patan fine low catch that by uh, Ricky Ponting the captain and Australia have got the, their six wicket it's 160 for six Irfan Patan out for 46